Hello, hi. So yeah, I have a one six plus. Came for no power. Then we found out it's nothing to do with the board. I mean, it's not. It's not dead. This game is dead to me. Now it says it's dead. But. Uh, I checked uh, under with our, you know, the normal test we do on the device, and we found out it's not no power. It's something to do with the charging IC. Try start. Because the time to adjust the view. Because right, uh, when I connect to the charging block, um, the voltage we're getting is not enough. It is very low voltage on that two connector. It's actually a no voltage. What is it? Is it not connected at all? Or is it the charging block itself? Let me try with my test testing charging flux. It could be just a charging block. The initial test we did it was with the charge battery. It did power on. Okay, let's check. I have six plus charging cable. Wow. iPhone six. Seven. I guess. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I think I don't have it six plus. Yeah. I had it yesterday. Uh, today it's got it. Found it. So let's check it with the charging cable. Non good charging cable. Uh, Charging connector, charging flex, charging connector, charger. Three things that's what you need to check the voltage on it. If you got any sort of voltage coming, I mean, something else. If Six, which is not very good to boot the phone, and we have 5.2 phone on the board. I mean, the charging dock is okay, charging flux is fine, and let's also check with the DC power supply and check the display if the display is coming to. Yesterday, um, today is actually 11th of January, <coughs> 2018. Uh, yesterday, I was working on 7 plus, which was no power, data recovery. We managed to fix that, and uh, we had an issue with not charging. Now, today, I examined the board, and it was not... It was not uh, charging IC
it was something to do uh, with some kind of corrosion around the charging connector. Oh, see, let's try to connect my DC volt. DC power supply, so we got 6 plus, 6 plus, 6 plus connected, and let's connect the charger. I don't think that is the right one. Does it do anything? Nothing. I think this is not good much. DC power supply, I'm gonna disconnect this for, for a second. Let's check the DC power supply mode. Right, so this phone came as no power, dead. And the basic test, uh, initial test we do on this dead device is it told us that it's nothing to do with the. It's nothing to do with shortage or anything it just had no voltage coming to this point and uh, on the DC power supply if this phone will be short to ground and you're not getting any sort of voltage on the battery points this phone need not boot with the DC power supply so I'm gonna let it boot all the way and uh, if you can see that you go to Apple logo, you get a code on. You can go here and then you can see. Touch is working fine too. Yeah, so this phone is not dead actually. It just got no voltage coming to this battery points. And we know that it is because of TriStar IC. So I thought I'm gonna make a quick video. Just to try to IC on this device. Okay. I'm also going to show you six, uh, seven plus the one we were working yesterday. Short to ground one. Right, yeah, I'm just trying to adjust the view. All right, okay, so let's take the shield off. Is that okay? Yeah. Let's find okay, let's Six plus, no power. It's... It's TriStar RC is failed. This usually happens because of this Chinese cable where you try on this. Then I was thinking what happens when you put a new trust RC on the device and you still keep on using the same cable. So what we do, we do recommend customers to change their cable as well because that was the main cause of the the fault cause on the on on the device in the first place. Okay, so we are we are good to go. Alright, so we have it here now. Shield. I'm just gonna check. I think one of the water damage one came on, right? Yeah. No, power. no power came on. That's perfect. Good success. So you have the liquid damage one. 
and that got fixed too. How is it looking? Is it looking good? Um, it's good. Yeah, Raha, let's have a look. Is it is it fine? Is she looking good? Or is something not focused like we were making yesterday a video and then after uploading it, I, I found out that it's it was blur. It was not focused on the. and the board that I was working on so that was kind of annoying this, if the battery is fully just have a look as well if the voltage is coming on the battery kind of thing I think you know with the liquid damage phone water damage phone we should we should recommend a new battery yes. you should you can the battery get water damage as well and that's not very good for for the phone because sometimes you get uh, software issue later on because of the battery see off now I've just remove the adhesive about um, uh, on the IC and now we're going to do the IC off I have another success um, after this for a backlight. Oops. As I see goes back into the box of the customer phone. Quite a few companies. Uh, one of these two. Okay, let me just have a look because I have to clean it, and one of the cap is off. So I put that cap back. After cleaning it. Right, and uh, yeah, what I have, I have an iPhone, iPhone 6s came for backlight. I have examined it; it's just a uh, fuse on it, and then I have another six for backlight, which was short to ground, and I'm sure that's one of diode cap, and maybe IC TriStar. Oh, that 
backlight driver that may need replacing I'm gonna work on that too and then I'm trying I'm thinking to make a long video or make maybe three separate video I'm gonna make a three separate video actually I have a cap safe somewhere on the board which came off from the board Okay, I think we're good to put the cap back on where it was, and then I'm gonna put a new TriStar. That would help. That will do. I think. Check this cap. Yes. What's happening here? Okay, let's get back to you. the cat. Mm, yeah. Okay, so what we're doing now is trying to put this one of the cap which came off. Now it's taking the IC off the board. Is on. 
there's a bit of heat. Yeah, we are good to go. Try to I see. Even if I don't put this cap on, it's going to be okay. But it's good to put it back on. Cap is on. I'm just going to clean it. Clean the rubber and the extra flux. Where's the IC? He's charging ICs. Tricer IC for iPhone 6. 6 Plus. I'm not carrying on this video. I might, might. I might carry on this video with the success backlight that would be yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. it's troubling we have to we have to put a new IC on that today maybe tomorrow कल कल मिल जाएगा कल इतने बजे सुबह या इंशाल्लाह चलो ओके जजाक अल्लाह तो वी हैव अनदर सिक्स प्लस टी गो इट्स विद टच डिजीज Move and it's on its place, so we are good with the tri star speed notch. I have this habit just to <laughs> throw my tweezer after I'm done. Bad habit. Change it. Waalaikum assalam. How are you, sir? How is it? Yeah. So I'm gonna clean it a bit, and I'm gonna show you what we done. And we'll check the voltage, and then close the phone. Then check. It. I mean, then I'm gonna put the shield on here. I see the the, 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 the cap was 
moved as well, so put the cap back on as well. Yeah, well, let's check the, the voltage now. now. This time I'm going to check the voltage with the customer. Well, I'm going to check with mine first. No one good. Charging flex. It's a bit warm. I let it cool down a bit. Let's have a look at our 6S. That is for the backlight. Success backlight success. There's a pile of work around me. Microphone success. Yeah, that's the one. Success backlight. I'm not gonna take the boat out from here and work on it. Yeah, I think let's check the let's check the voltage on it. If you get a voltage, we are okay. Right, okay. Let's check. And we got full voltage which will bring back life to the device so I'm quite sure that it's just the dust was it this is it and uh, let's put the shield back on and close close the phone So most of the dead phone when they come we check it and with the power supply. You see power supply. If we do not have a voltage here, if we have a voltage, then might be something else too. So it could be could be display, could be something which else which is causing it not to boot the device. Could be data line somewhere could be shortage on the display line now it's on
to remember we're working on iPhone 6 plus came for no power dead but our initial test told us that it's, it's nothing but TriStar and that works most of the time we're gonna take a display of it first and then put the screws on There you go. There you go. So we've done six plus no power. Let it boot. While it's booting, I will check six S. No backlight. Plus making noise forms and everything, so we are okay. We have ooh, we have seventy four percent charge. We have seventy four percent charge as well on this. This is is it not strange? When we checked it, there was no voltage coming. That was the cause. Phone was not switching on. Success or six plus. I'll give it. Yeah, touch is working, and we got a code on. So, this is good to go. Six plus is done. That no power came on. We're just changing the tri star IC. It's done. Now, we're working on. Success came for no backlight. Then, are you getting the sound? I see for oh, iPhone 6. Is that iPhone 6? Yeah. That's longest screw damage. Mm -hmm. We got iPhone 6, longest screw damage. No sound coming. We have managed to do the long screw damage. I mean, it's just a, no, earpiece not working. I'm going to do. Right, okay, let's do this. One. I'm sorry that I didn't do any tests at all. So just do it for you because I've done mine. So if you check here, on diet mode, and red probe to ground. Pin 1, we have 541, pin 2, we got nothing, which is no open link, that would say, open link, there is nothing there, thank you, just looking for it, thank you, right, okay, so what we had here, that we had no continuity, whatsoever no reading on pin 2 which is usually is because of that fuse no filter on 6s
So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to clean it a bit here. I might put a fuse back on or a jumper. Over supply to the, the caps and the, the fuse, the filters, and some of the ice is coming. On Sun Monday, And most of the phones I'll be fixing there will be no jumpers. Except where is needed a long jumpers. Some pads missing. Points does not have any reading charging block mostly I get with uh, broken pads. Okay, so we are okay here. Let me check if I have a filter. To get it from the donor board. And get it from the donor board. Need, I think you need two of them. <coughs> one for MZ, one for... For another guy. Yeah, so we got a filter. Let's put the filter back on. Before I put the filter back on, I'm going to clean that region. Give these pads a bit of the solo.
Okay, so we have the filter back on. And let me clean the board. Do some test before I put this LCD on because I did not check the cap, the other side of the cap. Yeah, it goes to the backlight coil, diodes, and I see if that is short to ground. I only tested if that is open link or not. It was open link. Now let's check if it got any type of shortage. If we not, we are good to go. We should have a display then. So we have 543. Oh. Do we have 543 here on this line? One. A node 474. We are back in business. Um, Five four five. So that looks okay. Looks okay to me. This device should boot up and show the light and display everything. Okay, so where are we? Let's check the backlight. We got a home button on, off button on. We got backlight on so this is it so we have done two devices six plus for the tristar and six s for the backlight uh, the rest of the things i'm gonna just check did i yeah i'm gonna check the tap if the touch is working if touch is working it's going to be closed let me check if it's got a code on as well Remember, if we have a code, we do not take any responsibility of any other problem. We, oh, that's good. We are okay. No code. Just gonna take the touch. Touch got a new. They, they put, I think they put a new screen on, and then that's where they do this. They messed up the filter. Right, okay, so we have fixed the backlight on this device and uh, I'm gonna make you more videos later on. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna show you 7 plus actually before I close this thing. So I'll leave this on the side, charge that was the 7 plus. So, this was the 7 plus we were working yesterday. It was dead no power and we had a shortage around the NAND IC we managed to fix that uh, we managed to remove the short to ground and now we have uh, this was the region where the component was and we managed to remove the shortage the first cap here. We managed to remove the shortage and then it was not uh, charging. So what I did yesterday when I came in the morning, I cleaned this region where this connects the charger. It was all rust. It was not rust actually. It was you know one of the stickers here, the sticky thing. It was everywhere here on, on the charging block and everything. Still some there. So what we did, I, I cleaned it and give it a go that does it work or not. So see that this kind of stuff is there. So this is what's happening. Okay.
Well, now today I can see something in here. Okay, that must be the reason why it was doing this. Sh there's one of the, uh, there's a one ball here, soldering ball. That could be the reason why it was doing that yesterday. I'm gonna check it now again. Because it did charge, it, it went up to 24 percent. I, I didn't notice that, that this thing is here. It's Let me just check what is this on the ZSW. We are working on 7 plus. 7 plus. Let's do that. Test. So we wanted to cut here. Yeah, we have a, we have a reading there. So let me just check on the ZXW. What is it that some of the caps where the battery terminal is? They are to me. They look very good. Pin net name. This is one of the cap PP that VCC. And let me just check. Where does that go? It goes to this one. This goes to okay, okay, right, okay. Let me just check. Koi baat galat ho gayi. Right here, that's a problem. You know, that's okay actually. This is fine. So let's check. Here and here. Is another no let's check it now. Let's check with the battery customer battery and customer L C D and customer charging flex. Okay, so we were, what we were saying, but Galat uh, Tobi was that means something went wrong. But what happened that he was trying to sell a phone to a customer, but uh, it, it was not mentioned that it had a problem with the touch ID. Is that 6 plus? Yeah. Touch ID on your phone. Which one is your phone? 6 plus. Oh, so it's a Chinese one. Okay. Right, that's why it doesn't work. So yeah. Let's check charger. Connect the charger. Let's check now. Yeah, we are okay. We're good to go. We will get a logo. And it will charge as well. So 6 plus, 6S and 7 plus. Successfully repaired. Yes, and 32%, so it's the same phone. 7 Plus came for data recovery. The same picture of a customer we had it yesterday. Don't want to show you though, but well, we don't have a code. Yeah, I'm going to finish this video here, so I'm going to show, I thought I'm going to show you the 6, 7 Plus show. Remove and uh, I was fixed too. So, this is it from us today. Please, if you like these videos and you're learning something from them, or if you want something to f get fixed, please contact us. It's 
send us your, us your devices and you can get a, get a quote actually as well. What are we doing? We're gonna we're gonna give us a on a website on uh, on our channel, our WhatsApp number as well, where you can contact us and and talk to us regarding your devices. Uh, I don't want to go custom on Facebook, please. No, I didn't connect the home button, so I'll leave it. Yeah, so it's all okay here. It's working fine. Now I'm gonna close this device as well. Alright, take care. Thank you very much for watching. If you like these videos, please do subscribe our channel. Take care. Bye bye.